Hello friends, today we are going to discuss this question from lead code problem number 897 increasing order search tree. So in this question you are given a binary search tree and you have to arrange the tree in, in order traversal mode such that the left most, left most node in the tree is now the root of the tree and every node has no left child and only a right child. So you can get this question from this example below. This is a binary search tree so that every node on the right is greater than the root node and every node on the left is smaller than the root node. So and if you know in order traversal on a binary search tree, you know that when you do an in order traversal, it will print out the tree in an increasing order. What it means is uh, you can go and watch out other videos on in order traversal, but I can give you a brief description like we move from the root node, then we go till there is exist a left node and uh, first we go when there exists a left node then we print the node and we go to the right okay so for starting at this root node we go here 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 left node and there is no left node further so we print this node and then we check whether there is a right node no so we go back and then we print this node we check there is a right node no so we go back we print this node and we check there is a right node yes so we print this back we go back we go to a top node so here as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 we are printing it in the increasing order and you have to print this in this form such that the first is the so this is actually the in order traversal just we have to print it that only the right node exists okay so what's the basic strategy for this question can be we can make n first we can make a head pointer but if you point a head pointer to null then it would be very difficult to add nodes so what we can do is there's one strategy is we make a null or dummy pointer dummy value and uh, we just initialize it with zero let's say and because it's a node now it's a tree node now what we can do is we add all the nodes to the right of this node. So we do an in order traversal and we add every node on the right of this. So when we do an in order traversal, the first will be 1, then 2. So because we have a pointer on this head node, we know that the right of this exists. And then we add this value there and then we add another node on the right of this point on this node and it will be 2. So why we are actually using this dummy value is because if we are initially pointing it to null then we cannot add a new value here. That's right. So it's easy for implementing. Uh, I'll go through your, I'll go through the code and it will make you easy to understand it. And then we just add it in the right direction and because this is the initial pointer which we are pointing it to the head we are moving it left by left but when we are adding new nodes in the left in the right direction what we are doing is we are moving this pointer and uh, we lost track of the initial starting value so what we'll do is we make another pointer point to the head so that this pointer moves along the adding direction of the nodes but this pointer remains at the start so that we we'll know where our start start of the list is. Okay, so let's go through the code. Uh, we can write a function, let's say it's gfs, and uh, we'll pass in the root value, and then we return something. Okay, then we'll make a global variable, global head, which is actually this value this pointer which which is moving along the direction so we have to make it a dummy variable so we make a new node and we initialize it with 0 then we make another node and uh, we point it to the starting node only as you can see in this then we write this function
Now, if the root value is null, we just have to return that. Or else, what we have to do is we have to do an in order traversal. So, for doing the inner traversal, we have to go to the left node, and this is a recursive function. So, we'll call this function again, sending the left node value, and this will recursively call itself till there is no left value exist. Then, what we do is we have to add the next new node on the right of this head so what we'll do is we'll take the head dot right and we add a new pre node there and uh, what the value of that is root dot value and then we have to also move the head pointer in the direction of adding the new nodes and then we again call the dfs function because it's an in order traversal and uh, like we can also return but it's a white function okay but the pointer is pointing towards this dummy variable but i'll just start from here so we have to return in the last is we have to return pointer dot right because the right from the right value only our list starts. Our list starts from one. And yeah, that's the code. I think so it's run fine. Yeah, it's accepted. So let's submit it. That's it's accepted. Uh, I hope you understand the logic why I use the dummy node to add the list. Uh, the right of it and uh, yeah so then we do just use a recursive function and uh, we add new node to the right of the head so this is the head value we add a new node to the right of it and then we have to move this pointer from this to this because now we have to again add the next node to the right of this node now. so we have to move this pointer also so what we can do is we move the head to the right and then yeah, that's the whole question is. Thank you for watching.